Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Wendy from Little Ness Crafts and thank you for joining me. Hope that you're all well and that you're having a good week. Um, I know it's only Monday, um, but I hope you had a good, a lovely weekend. Um, it was quiet here and uh, the weather's not very good today. It's raining over in uh, Wales. So um, I thought I'd do a video um, for Margaret Miller's uh, planner. Margaret Miller's Collage Planner Challenge. So as I said before, it's um, week 13 <clears throat> and I've got the prompts here ready. Um, as you can see, we've got uh, number one is a stirring tool. Number two is a dictionary page. Number three is a line of poetry. Number four is a label. Number five is a path or road. And the bonus is circles. Now this is my second attempt at doing this video. I have got some uh, gathered a few things together. Um, I'll just leave that there so that you can have a look. Um, I had gathered a few things together. One of them being my label, and this is the label I pulled out. It was um, this came from um, a lady that I get my French um, ephemera from. And I thought, oh, that that's quite nice. It'll the colours in it would have gone with, um, you know, what I'm going to be using, uh, sort of autumn colours. Um, but when I turned it over, I didn't realise it was a photograph. And there's a lovely house martin. And um, we have had house martins here over the past few years. But last year we put in um, a wisteria in the garden and it's grown um, up the wall. And the top branches have sort of gone underneath the eaves where this house martin's nest is. So I think it's actually interfered with the nest. And the birds that came back um, were obviously having <clears throat> were having trouble accessing the nest. So I've got to sort it out this year and, um, you know, get rid of the tendrils. And then hopefully, hopefully they'll come back because I do enjoy watching them um, because it's right above our window so you can see them when when they're flying in and when the young ones fledge so um, yeah so I won't be using that um, because I do like that uh, picture and I can incorporate that in um, one of my French journals that I plan on making so I then had a rummage round in the box you know in my ephemera to see what else I had and I've got quite a few few labels um so we'll have to see with uh, which ones will actually go with what we're going to be doing today so there's that one a capsule one there's these two this one was actually one label and i've cut it i've cut it open it was a grasshopper's label and um, <clears throat> when i opened it up it's got some nice pictures there so um, I don't know whether we can incorporate that. And then there was this label, which is quite a nice colour. And then there's this one, Tendency. And there's this one. So I'll keep those to one side and uh, we'll have a look to see which ones will integrate with the collage that we're going to be doing. So <clears throat> the first... Um, prompt was a stirring tool and what I've done is I cut this I've cut this out ready just to save time don't know if any of you know what it is um, as I've told you before I do keep bees and um, um, you can get different uh, honey stirrers so that's actually what this is and I don't know if you can see on there but there is a little bee I think or it's supposed to be a little bee it's not very not very clear so I've cut that out ready so I'll pop that up there and uh, that's the stirring tool prompt one um, this is the second prompt and that's self-explanatory um, it's my uh, dictionary page and this is also from the lady that I get my French ephemera from in France um, and it's a French uh, dictionary page so I don't speak French, but I'm hoping that there's nothing on there that anybody will take offence to. If there is, you'll have to let me know. Um, but most of it's going to be covered up anyway. So um, then we've got a line of poetry. 
And what I've done is I've taken out this, this little poem here and it's The Road Not To Be Taken by Robert Frost. And the first line is two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And I, I've got um, another version of that where it doesn't actually say yellow wood, but it says two roads diverged in a wood. So I've cut cut out that one as well because I've got two pictures and I'm not sure which one I'm going to be using yet. It depends what goes with um, uh, the things that we've got so far. Um, a path or a road. And what I've done is I've, I've taken these two pictures. Um, there's this one here, which has got the two roads diverging, which I thought would be good for the prompt. Um, where it says um, two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Uh, so there's that one. And then we've got this one here, um, which is just two roads diverged into a wood. So I'm, I'm assuming that the road has diverged and you've just you've just got one one road left. And I quite like that uh, the mistiness in that one. <clears throat> So it's planning now where we where we where we're going to uh, where we're going to put things um, because initially I was going to pop that under here and um, underneath my uh, dictionary page, but I, I won't go down that avenue because I'm not <laughs> um, it's pointless because I'm not I'm not going to be using that one because I don't want to uh, waste the photo. So. If we go with what we'll do is we'll take the yellow one first. And what I thought was, was if I keep the bottom half of the bottom, just the bottom um, words down there, have it in the centre of the page like that. Try and straighten up a little bit. And then they've got, you've got the yellow in this, which obviously matches the yellow in the... Uh, Matches the yellow. Maybe I could do something like that and cover those words up there, keeping that white line down the side of there. I could actually bring that a bit lower, even then, or we'll take that a bit higher. So you've got the white line coming down on either side there, and then. Um, Oh, I didn't mention the bonus, which was circles. And what I've done is I've cut out a little picture. I've made it smaller and it's of some crop circles um, in a field. So um, I thought we'd go with those. So, line of poetry. So I could tuck that. underneath I have that to there tuck it in a bit more so it's a bit closer um, and have it going underneath the dictionary page What do you reckon to that? <clears throat> and then Thought of incorporating maybe this. I 
and then this spoon. Where could we put the spoon? We could actually have it coming down alongside the words. Like that. Yeah. So take that back up there. We'll take this one off. We'll take that one off. Quite like those there, but we'll replace them for this one. And maybe have no. No, I don't want two lots of words there. At this one. I come up a little bit at the top corner. And then maybe the spoon could reside on there. Choices, choices. What do you think, ladies? I won't use those two. I'll keep them for another day. So it's either that or we've got long one have to come out a bit more there which does actually show more of the circles off which I quite like yeah I quite like that one let's just swap it for the yellow one No, I think it's more atmospheric. I think it's more atmospheric having it A spoon on there actually. Oops. What do you think, ladies and gents? I think that needs to come up a bit higher. I was gonna do that, wasn't I? Maybe I could. Take that in a bit more.
yeah I quite like that one we'll go with that one I think rather than overthink it too much um, you have to let me know what you think but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as a, as a tuck spot and I'm going to put the whole poem underneath um, so it's tucked inside the pocket there I'll just get my glue, excuse my arm and let me just glue things down a little bit just to anchor them so I uh, don't lose where they go where's my tweezers oh, typical isn't it I've put them down somewhere and I can't find them now there we are Never mind. So if I put that down there. Look at me. Take it up quickly. Put it upside down. That is the stirry bit. And then I'll just put a smidgen of glue underneath there just to hold that in place. Have to be a bit careful because the um, the book page is very fragile. Are we straight? No, we're not. There we are. Then I'll take that down to take it down so it's level bottom here. I can pick it up now and glue it a bit more. So I do hope you're enjoying the uh, Margaret Miller challenges. I am new. I am new to it, and uh, so it's a bit of a learning curve. Um, so we'll, we'll pop some glue right way over the back now. I'll try and be a bit sparing with this because it's going right the way through the the page but I'm hoping it will that it won't leave a, a stain when it dries because the paper is so thin there we go there we 
And then what we'll do is just tuck this into the side there. So that if we want to read the whole poem, we've got the whole poem. What I will do, I'll put a little tab on the side uh, just to make it so it can tuck right in. And um, I haven't got anything handy, I don't think, at the moment. That's of the right colour. Um, no, so I'll just pop that in there so that you can see. So there we are. Margaret Miller's Collage Planner Challenge Week 13. Um, so I do hope you'll join me next week. I'm quite enjoying doing the challenges. Um, um, I've also tell you, um, I am actually involved in Rachel and Bella Crafts collaboration and um, what I will do below this video, I will leave information of the link um, if you'd like to join us and uh, follow along. What happened, I'll tell you about it briefly, but Rachel and Bella Crafts and um, Angela Kerr got together and they've done this collaboration and it's lasting from the 15th of March right up until the 15th of April and there's going to be two crafters, two designers every day put, posting up a video on YouTube um, of things that they have made um, for the collaboration. Now Rachel and... Um, Angela have uh, designed two kits. They do complement each other. Um, Ray, uh, Rachel's got half of the kit on her uh, shop in her shop, and Angela's got the other half of the kit in her shop. And there's about seventy, there's about seventy pages in 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 total. So it is a bumper kit, and there is forty percent off at the moment. So if you're interested and you want to follow along. Um, the, as I say, the two videos will be coming out um, every day. And if you watch the videos, if you wouldn't mind um, giving them a like and leaving a comment. And what happens then is at the end of the month, a week later, once the collaboration is over, Rachel will be doing a draw and um, lots of the crafters that are involved have donated prizes. Um, so there'll be lots and lots of prizes on offer. Um, so if you want, if you'd like to have the opportunity to win a prize, then, um, as I say, leave a, a like and a comment on each of the um, people taking part who are doing the videos um, and you'll be put in the draw. Um, I'll leave all the details um, below this video in the information box below the video. And there is a, um, a link tree that Rachel's done. And if you click on the link tree, it's, ha it's hashtag journal jigsaw. And that will take you to the main site um, where you will find every, all of the collaborators, all, all of the participants. Um, details and videos will be uh, posted up there. So it's you don't have to go trawling through YouTube to look for each of the the um, the designers that are taking part. So I do hope that makes sense. And I, as I say, I do hope you'll join us and uh, um, follow along. And um, I look forward to seeing you there. My um, project that I'm going to be doing is coming up on the 11th of April. So uh, I do hope that you'll... Um, take five minutes out to or half an hour um, to watch my video and uh, leave me a comment that would be much appreciated. Um, so thank you very much and have a good week and stay safe and take care. Bye then.